Normally, when you have a viruses uh, infection inside your computer, you can get to Windows in normal mode. So what you do, you should start the computer in safe mode or safe mode with network. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to shut it down and restart. So as the computer starting up, I'm pressing F8 now. It doesn't matter what uh, model you have or brand or um, uh, different type of computer. It's you press F8 in Windows based operating system. And now we have here the screen I'm booting from the hard drive. So you maybe have this screen come up or not. Um, but you just um, select the hard drive in this case and press F8. Now we get the screen where it says safe mode up here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go up here and save mode with network. So I have the access of using the internet if I want and that's one of the uh, options that you maybe it's uh, it's good because you can use other tools to um, to run scanning over the internet okay so I'm going to access to this computer as owner you maybe have administrator you can get as administrator but if the owner has the same privilege and permissions as administrator so it's the same so we're going to get um, through owner or maybe your name so it comes with this screen windows running in safe mode i press it yes go to c drive and then look under a document and setting owner in your case is your name or owner it doesn't matter but that's where most of the time you have to start to um, to check for executable or viruses um, manually even if you have a security program installed on your computer so we go to local setting and in local setting you can see Tim so normally you should delete the files under Tim because most likely the viruses will have some files hidden and saved here so I'm going to highlight all of them and then just delete and it asked me a question yes to all so it's all cleaned and went to the recycle bin application data application data is where some viruses they get uh, saved and downloaded under one of those folders so you go to Tim and you see it's clean there is nothing but most of the time you will see there is um, some files there so you have to look there as well to check the other place you need to look is you go to start and then you go program files the startup you just check the startup if there is any things under the menu C drive documents and setting owner and then you can see here start menu you just check here if there is any program that suspicious or it's not something that you installed and you think it's that's maybe the executable file that you maybe um, can remove so in our case here there is nothing unusual so that's fine and then you can also um, go to your control panel under internet options you clear the cookies so we are now on internet option if you already deleted the browsing history so you go to connection and under LAN setting you just double check if you don't use proxy then you make sure this is unticked program files now program files sometimes you have a very obvious a folder created that it you think it's it's maybe it's the virus so you can delete that so that's the other things you probably you need to investigate and see your files the other location you should look 
is under the C directory you go tools folder options and make sure it show hidden files okay so there's nothing so there is other ways as well through the safe mode with networking to access to the internet if you can get your browser uh, running if you can't then you maybe have a problem of um, using the tools through the internet because like some software companies I use um, they provide you with online scanning and it has some of them some very good algorithms that even when you try to scan online in real time it will um, uh, try to uh, find out through your registry uh, entry keys which I didn't mention or go through with you because those software tools they're more effective and faster some of those software tools as well will allow you to access to the hard drive, C drive and all the hidden fo folders including the root directory in Windows and the C drive through the DOS so you will boot the computer and then when it started um, it will start doing scanning and basically that is very significant advantage because um, if there is any uh, hidden executable files um, start with your account or profile uh, login name for Windows um, the antivirus program will interfere and will stop this executable file and delete them before you start Windows so once you get uh, login to Windows you don't need uh, to do the scan again because this is how it works